Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a 2009 Hyundai Elantra. I'm going to change the back brakes. Stick around, I'll show you how I do it. First thing I'm going to do is jack up the car so I can put jack stand on both sides. As you can see, right there is where I put the jack. Right in the center of the rear end right there. Now I'm going to put jack stands on both sides of this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove the wheel. I'm going to use a 1316 socket. Now if you don't have a jack stand, you can also throw your tire underneath the car or truck if it's big enough. It'll give you some kind of uh, cushion if the jack fails. Just like that right there. Now if you get back in here, right here is one of the bolts you have to take out. And if you go down, see if I can get the camera down here to move. And I believe it is right here. You got to take that bolt out as well. And then you can remove the caliper. Now that the bolts are out, I will go ahead and try and remove the caliper. You can just use a screwdriver. You should be able to pry it right out. The caliper should just come right out. Get the rust off of it. Because there's a lot of it. Sit it down to where it's not putting any stress on the hose and right here is our brake pads those should slide right out this way See if we can get them to come out Okay, I gotta take my hammer and my screwdriver and just knock them out. And there's one, and the pads do look pretty good. They still got a lot of meat on them. And yeah, once you get them beat out, I mean, that brake pad there is not bad at all. Okay, now I'm going to start putting the new brakes back on. First, I'm going to check these to make sure that they move back and forth so that the brakes can slide. And if they are stiff, or if you just want to pull them apart and check them, just lightly pull on them. They will come apart down here. Pull it out. And you can see, this one don't look too bad. I'm going to put some grease on it and put it back in there. But if it's rusted up, you can actually clean it off with really light sandpaper or a wire brush and a grinder with a wire wheel on it works really well okay I got some grease on it and I'm going to slide it back in there just slide it in and push it and that should pop and there that one is working well now I'm going to go ahead and do this bottom one it moves really good but I'm going to pop it off anyway if I can get it off here there we go it looks a little different but uh, I'm going to go ahead and grease it up and slide it back in there. Okay, got it greased really well. Slide it in. And just push it. And it should snap. And now, there we go. Now I'm going to take these off and replace those. Here's the new ones. They came with the brakes. Now to take these off, just get underneath here and pick them up. They should pop right off. Just like that. Same way with this one. Get under it. Pop it off. There it goes. Go ahead and clean these areas really good before you put the new ones back on. Okay, now these are all the same, so you can't mix them up. You just want to slide it in there. And just push down on it. Should slide right in. Do the top the same way. Now before you put grease on these, go ahead and check the fit of your brakes. And when I took these off, this spring type brake pad was on the back. And this is actually the squeaker. 
when the brake pad gets down so low, it'll hit this little piece of metal on the rotor and start making a loud, whiny noise. Let you know that the brakes need to be replaced. Now these things don't fit in there very tight like the ones that came out because the other ones were probably rusted in there. These are uh, kind of loose, but still I'm going to make sure my brake shoes fit before I put grease on these. And make sure you put this side on first. And what you want to do is you want to angle it down like this. Put it in there. Make sure it fits on both of these springs. And I can tell that that one's going to work really well. I'm going to have to take this in there and grind this one side down just a little bit for this brake shoe to fit in the back. Okay, I ground very little down so that this will slide in there. Now it fit really well. Now we'll come out by hand, go in by hand. Now I'll go ahead and grease them and put the caliper back on. Now that I got this side greased, I'll go ahead and slide the brake pad back on. And now I'll do the other side. Should be able to pull it right out by hand. Grease it. Don't get anything on the uh, rotor. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and put the brake pad back in the back. And it should slide right in, just like so. I'm going to go ahead and compress this caliper. Now I've used C-clamps and I've used vice grips to do this, but I'll tell you what. This tool right here is really handy when it comes to compressing these. So, I'll just stick it in here. Just start turning. And it takes that right back up in there. There it is. Now that cylinder's all the way back up in there. Take this off. Put the caliper on. Push these in. Now I'll go ahead and put the bolts in it, bolt it down. I don't know what the torque is, but I'm sure there's a torque for these. But just snug it down really good. Don't over tighten it because you don't want to break it. Now I'm going to put the wheel back on and I'm going to go to the other side and do exactly the same thing I did to this side. Now if your hubcap came off like mine did, go ahead and put it back on the, the wheel before you put it up here. Makes it a whole lot easier. Okay, now we're done with the back. If you want to see how the front's done or see what they look like, go ahead and click on this link and it'll take you right to the front brakes. So like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. Thanks for watching.